Hey guys, this is X here, and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Adventures. And, well, today, you know, the last episode, I realized how, um, how should I say it, how loud the, the sound was in the game. So, I turned down the volume a bit. Let's just start this replay. I don't remember what deck this was. Oh, this was a Potter Forbidden deck. I only had won this one. We can just watch this, but I turned down the volume from like all m like max right here to here. So hopefully it's not as loud anymore. Let's just watch the thing real quick. So I'm playing as Trick Stars. I can't see his hand in replays for some reason, and I'm pretty sure I lose this, but um, I'm not completely sure. So this is like an old drama Potter Forbidden deck. This deck is really bad, by the way, guys. Don't play this deck, it's complete trash. Um, I sort of built this on a whim. And I was confused as to why I uh, couldn't do an effect on something, I don't know. And I uh, ended up, ah, yeah, I get the, off the pot of Forbidden, actually. I tribute to and get it because of Seraphonite. That suck second normal summon is really good. I go into Forbidden, I use the effect to get off out of max C just in case. That wasn't really the smartest play, but whatever, right? I'm not very good at this game. So I go here, I put forbidden attack. Oh yeah, I did this play where I did the raccoon thing and he ends up surrendering. So I actually won with a deck that's really bad. Let me just show you the deck real quick. Uh, this is a really fun deck. This is my Gen X deck, by the way. I've been editing a lot recently. Well, I just made it recently. This is a pot of Forbidden deck right now. I abandoned these fiend because you can lock people out. And this deck, it does have some special summons, but it's not too important. So you can play without them and you can lock out your opponent. I really don't know what to do about this deck. Um, the one you saw in the game was actually a little bit different, but pretty sure everything that was in that game was also is still in the deck. I removed some of the brickier stuff. I'm sorry, the audio quality is not very good right now. I'm shuffling my Yu-Gi-Oh deck like a crap ton as I do this. Uh, this is, these are Andrew's Yu-Gi-Oh's cards, by the way. There's like none of them. He has barely over 40 in total. It's really dumb. He's going to get some Cyber Dragons, which is good for me. I can play them, and so can he. So let's do the next one. This one's called Save It. So... I think I actually lost this one, but I'm not sure. I'm playing Mermails here. I think I lost because I didn't have too many outs, but I might have won. I'm not sure. I didn't draw a Cyber Dragon, though I drew Machine Duke. I might have won this one, though. I don't know, because I go into, like, Gofu here. And then I get out the Seraphonite. I manage to go into Durindle. I use the Instant Fusion, get out a Panzer Dragon. Use the Rindle, like try to shovel stuff in. My hand is actually worse, which kind of sucks. And then I go end phase, I pop his monster, so. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was the best play, but I think I actually won this because, yeah, the Rindle negates, and he ends up surrendering here because the Cyber Dragon deck, this is basically Yu Gi No No's deck. The Gofu, you use Radiant instead of Deco Talker in this one because, you know, Gofu's a. Uh, level 5 so we can make easy rank 5 plays like I did in the replay so those are a couple of games I just wanted to show you guys let's see the spirals can brick let's watch this one real quick so I might pause a bit so here I'm actually using my uh, cyber dragon deck I drew brilliant fusion and I drew slumbers I drew machine do without core so that kind of sucks but it's fine, this is a decent hand, because I also drew Gofu, even though, you know, I have to slumber, so... I don't end up using it as much, and, um, I basically started talking to him, it's like, oh yeah, I want to see how spirals work, and he says, oh, he, I, I got really, um, unlucky, so... I guess spirals can brick, if you don't have the right hand, that was just my assumption, at least. And, uh, yeah, I ended up actually winning against this spiral deck. So, uh, I'm not really sure if this guy's running the standard Spiral deck. I assume that he was, and he kept paying the cost of Resort, I think. Shovel one, I don't know, Graveyard to the deck. Yeah, he kept paying the cost instead of destroying the thing. 
I guess for the late game, but I assumed he was going to kill me really fast, so I wasn't even thinking about the late game here. And, you know, I draw a double Brilliant Fusion, that kind of sucks. At least I didn't draw Garnet. He ends up um, Ash Blossoming me, so I go G Zakiro Gamma Seal, because I didn't have a Cyber Dragon to suck up G Zakiro. I'm confused. I, I thought you can activate Broly Fusion twice. I guess not, then. I'm not sure. But yeah, and he keeps getting this right. Like, he first he gets Spell, he gets it right. He gets Monster, gets it right. Later, he actually gets it right again, so... In case you guys didn't know, okay, who doesn't know this, but, um, Super Agent, basically, you declare a card type, the opponent flips the top card of their deck, depending on which it is, if you guess it right, you special summon it, if you don't, you, you can't get it. Usually people use, um, Drone, is it called, or something? Okay, I know you guys know this, but, I just want to explain it, in case you didn't, <laughs> okay, whatever. So Drone, Gear Drone, basically lets you see the top three and order them however you want, so then... You can guarantee get Super Agent and Double Helix. He just guesses them right, which is pretty smart. Which is pretty, uh, not smart. Pretty, pretty weird, okay? So he uses Rule and Lockbird. That doesn't really affect me because I don't search too much except for with Core here. And I end up getting out Seraphonite and Galaxy Soldier, so that's a free rank 5. Did I do that? Yeah, I go into Durindal. I don't think I even use Seraphonite's effect too much. It's a free special summon into a level 5, though. That's really good, even without the double summon effect. So, here, like, he's at 600, but he does get a lot of stuff done here with, like, Ghost Ogre and stuff. He gets a Super Agent, and here he gets it again. He quick fixes into Big Red, and uses Big Red. I'm learning Spiral still. I don't know jack about spirals, but... Yeah, and here I was wondering, like, why can't I use Mega Fleet? Because I have in the deck, but it doesn't display here. I guess it's just, like, a new card that's not released yet or something. So, yeah, he gets it with, um, I guess he does use Gear Drone in this one. I'm not sure, though. Remember? I think he got a Super Agent, and then he went to Gear Drone with Double Helix. After getting it right, but I'm not sure. But, yeah, he did get lucky the first two times, alright? So he lets me get the reasoning, which is really confusing. But here he keeps his stuff in attack position, like his, um... Oh, yeah, he goes into Firewall, but he surrenders here because he realizes, oh, I can just attack with Jizukiro. I wonder what was in his hand, but yeah, I just attack with Jizukiro, and, you know, that's 800 damage. He only had 600 life points left after this. Also, I don't really get how the avatars work. Can you make a custom one? Because apparently, like, at least for me, whenever I change my name, it changes my avatar. So it's, like, based off my name almost, but I'm not sure. So this one's called Last Replay, so I don't know what's up with this. Okay, so I was playing Gen X here. I bricked really hard. I'm pretty sure I lost this matchup, but then again, I might have won. I know... Wait, Neko feel... I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I lost this matchup. I saved the replay anyways. I'm not sure though, usually I only save my wins because when I lose, it, I usually lose really badly and when I win, it's usually pretty close because I'm not that good. Except for Cyber Dragons, like, I win with those pretty easily and consistently. Same thing with Blue Eyes Level Eater. But, I win pretty consistently with that deck, like the Blue Eyes Level Eater and Cyber Dragons. I would like to say that I win more than I lose with those. A lot of the time I don't save my loss replay because they just completely wreck me and it's not very entertaining to watch. Like, that's more something you need to keep. But yeah, my decks are not the best decks, okay guys? They're like decent decks, but they're not the best at all. And I end up going, um, end phase. Well, yeah, I go into battle phase, but I don't attack because I look at his card and I'm like, oh wait, he's playing gadgets. Yeah, these things are just do, they, these things build up advantage if they're destroyed here. And in this one, I'm pretty sure he beats me with an Ancient Gear Golem. I used to have that card. Even Andrew used to have that card because his friend, like, gave him the card, I think. Something like that, right? I, I have the card, too. I have a lot of cards. Here, there's an Ancient Gear Factory right in my hand here. But uh, that monster can't even be special summoned. And he manages to beat me with it. I think that's what happens here. I'm not sure. Here he goes into like a gear thing, and I managed to get over it. I use Max C to just, you know, go one for one. I draw a card here. He attacks my um, Neutron, which is a good play because, you know, end phase, I can keep doing stuff, is it? No, but still, he wants to get over it. 
So I do this play, I go into Birdman to gain some attack. I know that's not the play you're supposed to do, but you can use it. You're supposed to do some bouncing stuff. But I have an actual Gen X deck, so you can't really do it. Yeah, I had like a really big hand, but I didn't get the machine dupe and I drew unlucky. I drew a bunch of the same cards, which means I can't much do the machine dupe plays, so yeah, I wasn't able to do much here. I tried to go in, like, Goyo Guardian and stuff. But I ended up just getting wrecked by this Ancient Gear Golem. Which sucks. I, like, try Desires and stuff, you know? But, yeah, I just can't get anything done, you know? I go into this thing. It just doesn't matter. I was gonna go into Crystal Wing, but then I realized, oh, I only get one Normal Summon. <laughs> if I had, um, like, if I could get Crystal Wing, he would have been done because I would have attacked. That was a plan, but... Then I realized I didn't stand a chance, so I ended up losing this game. I banished my Garnet, which kind of sucks too, yeah. So here I get outplayed, by I am playing Gen X. I mean, that thing's on Legacy of the Worthless, not very good deck, alright? In the next game, I like to say I played a bit better with the Gen X deck. I'm not sure. Let me actually see what God Mode is. I think you guys want to see this too. Let's click, and I'm lagged. Okay, don't do that. It crashes your game. I might do a download tutorial on this thing because, you know, people want to see how to download Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2. It's not quite as easy as Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 1. It's pretty easy, though. I had to ask around a bit. Well, Andrew was the one that started to download it, and he said, oh, it doesn't work. So I started asking around, but then I realized, oh, this is really easy. You just extract the file. <laughs> Apparently Andrew doesn't know how to do that. <laughs> so I Ash Blossom is Brilliant Fusion. I think that was his most important card. He's playing Synchron, so we're both not very playing a very competitive deck. I like to say his is better than Gen X, but then again, the Machine Dude play is pretty good. And I don't know like how loud the sound is on the game right now. Hopefully he's not too loud. So I end up foolish burialing a searcher, I think. A turbo, I mean, so if this guy doesn't get destroyed, I can still do the machine dude play. So I end up doing that into Trishula. And he goes into this weird monster. I have no idea what it is. It says unknown. It's probably it, I, he says it's a Christron. So I'm gonna take his word for it. Alright, and I'm back, so. I had to go do something. So he starts talking about how, what the Christron link, link thing does. And I just Trish him. I Trish his Deco Talker and his only card in hand. He goes into like Formula Synchron with stuff, but I just attack with Trish. And I don't think he got a way to get over the thing. I don't think he had a way to get over it because I trished his hand, I trished his board, like, I messed up everything, he couldn't go into Synchro because he had Formula Synchron stuck here. Well, I took it all the Garnet, I know, playing Garnet, right? Unironically, normal summoning the thing, not to specifically to get over something, just to attack. But, Garnet? Like, that's why you play Garnet instead of Lazuli? Like, or any other Gemini card. Well, Azuli, you can play if you have normal cards in the deck. You play Garnet over most Gemini cards just because that 1900 attack, right? So he, like, tries to do stuff, but I trished him to where he couldn't really do stuff. And I, he invests a ton of resources into his board, and I just shut it down with one card. Because he didn't have enough protection. Like, post-link Synchron, synch like, they're playable, but... They're not that good. So he tunings, I Ash Blossom him. And um we actually talk to each other here. If you if he you, you you're watching this right now, hi. I'm showing some replays here, so I'm actually gonna have to edit cut a part of this video out, so I don't wanna make it too big so when I render it it doesn't take too long. So yeah, no live matches today. Probably next episode, I might do a deck profile on my Gen X deck. Because I feel like it's a decent Gen X deck, but I have to work on it a bit harder. So yeah, decently long video. That's going to be all for today, guys. Take care of y'all. Goodbye.